Good morning and welcome to the Splash Live right here on Civic Center TV. I'm Dave Scott. We've got breaking news from West Bloomfield Township. I'll have that for you in just a moment. But first of all, happy Passover. And for those that uh, take the Passover service, which happens during a meal, literally, and includes consumption of four glasses of wine. For those of you that took that literally and drank the entire glass of wine last night and are a little groggy this morning, we, <laughs> we understand. Hey, it's Tiger opening day. How about that? That is always a great sign of spring. We'll have more on Tiger opening day coming up in the program. And uh, thank goodness yesterday did not turn out to be the weather crisis that we expected. Uh, no tornadoes in our immediate area. Uh, certainly some power outages with some big wind, but uh, none of the terror and devastation that we thought might be a, a problem and that we dedicated all of yesterday's show to, but it never hurts to be prepared. Better weather picture today. Let's take a look at what we have weather-wise coming up in just a minute. Well, we can bring it up now. I know I'm out of order here, but uh, today 53 degrees will be our high with sunshine. And when that weather came through yesterday, it did cool things down, down to 33 tonight, 50 tomorrow, 51 on Saturday, and a good dose of sunshine over the next couple of days. Back on track here. Thank you very much for watching the Splash Live, part of 90 minutes of live television each and every day right here on Civic Center TV. Starts out with the Splash. Tyler in at 10 o'clock with a mega cast, taking a little bit more of a regional look at what's going on in our area. We're very local. West Bloomfield, Kego, Sylvan, um, Orchard Lake right here on this show. Easy to watch us across a wide variety of platforms. Oh my goodness how technology has uh, blessed us with lots of ways to communicate with you. We are on Comcast Cable in our area. You can find us on Channel 15, uh, where we've been for over 20 years. Also now on at t Cable in the greater West Bloomfield area, available on a menu system on Channel 99. Best place, I think, to watch us, though, is on the web. Go to civiccentertv.com, full high-definition video, streaming live right there on our website, and then all of our other content, a lot of other very helpful information, civiccentertv.com. We're on social media each and every day. Of course, you can find us live streaming on Facebook and on YouTube. Just look for Civic Center TV. And, of course, we have our own local radio station on FM right here in our area. Been around since 1970. 89.3 Lakes FM, and uh, it is all there for you. So lots of ways to watch, lots of uh, areas uh, for you to engage and stay tuned in as you are making your way through your day. So the breaking news that we have for you this morning is that the phone lines in West Bloomfield Township are down. I've got an update here from our township clerk, Debbie Binder, who I talked to a couple of times this morning. Didn't want to bother Harry Palmer, our technician. Uh, and uh, I know he's been working hard on this, but um, they have trouble do, been doing some troubleshooting and they have isolated the problems with the phones at West Bloomfield Township and are fixing it, but we do not have a defined repair time window. Most of the departments in West Bloomfield will have their cell phones set up to receive calls. So depending on who you call, you may get forwarded right to a cell phone um, and that's the way it is in the clerk's office, says uh, Debbie Binder. Police have uh, their non-emergency number available, and of course, 911 has been working throughout. So if you need to get a hold of the police, if you have an emergency, just call any kind of emergency. Call 911, as you always do. Non-emergency calls for the West Bloomfield Police Department, 248-318-9321. Good job. Jared putting that up on the screen, 248-318-9321. And, you know, don't overwhelm them, but if you're really having trouble with something vital and you can't get a hold of anyone else in the township, I, I hope I'm not going to get in trouble for this. But uh, I'm sure that uh, you can call that number or just try calling some of the departmental numbers around the township and like we said, many of them are set up to forward to cell phones. No time window. Uh, we'll keep you up to date. If we get more information today, we'll certainly share it with you right here on Civic Center TV. So big night last night in our community, the Heroes Hike. 
happened last night. We got some great images of that. This is an event put on by the West Bloomfield Parks. And as you can see, um, some youngsters having an opportunity to hit the trails with our police officers and other heroes from the area. Nice job last night by members of the West Bloomfield Police Department, as busy as they were yesterday, to take time for the heroes hike. Um, West Bloomfield School District and safety leaders from around our community invite you to a gun safety forum. You know, it, it, uh, it, to editorialize here a little bit, just quickly, it's unfortunate that we have to do this, but kudos to the West Bloomfield School District and Chief Patton, who you see there on your screen, to uh, take an opportunity to talk about gun safety. They will be discussing many important topics affecting our children today. This is really targeted at gun safety, gun safety around our schools, obviously being put on by the West Bloomfield School District. And um, certainly with everything that's going on in our country, a really, really good idea to uh, hold this program. Refreshments will be served. No registration is necessary. Mark your calendar. It's coming up Tuesday, the 11th of April. That is next Tuesday, 6 to 8 o'clock in the beautiful new West Bloomfield Middle School, where I will be today, as a matter of fact. So um, make sure that you take an opportunity to go if you can. And uh, we will do, I'm, we haven't talked about it internally here, but uh, sounds like something that we should get recorded and get on Civic Center TV for you. So with all the emergency uh, discussion yesterday in the program, uh, we shared all kinds of different ways to get information. But let me just reinforce quickly the one thing after yesterday that you really should do to make sure that you have emergency alerts on, on your phone. For example, the phone system going down today, I'm sure that was broadcast over the Nixel system. Um, if you want to be able to get these alerts on your phone, it, it is, it's so easy. All you need to do is text to 888-777. What a nice, easy number to remember. All you got to do is text your zip code. So if you live in Kego or Sylvan or Orchard Lake or West Bloomfield, you know your zip code. Just Go to text that number, and then in the message, just put your zip code in there. You will be opted in, and uh, then you will get all of the emergency alerts right on your phone. You will be plugged in. You'll know uh, maybe even at the same time or as quick as we get that information. Oftentimes, that's where I get my information. It's a great direct way to get the information you need when something important that could impact to your safety and uh, just general convenience as a resident of the greater West Bloomfield area. So around these parts, wherever you happen to be, West Bloomfield, anywhere around Metro Detroit, anywhere in the state of Michigan, opening day for the Detroit Tigers is a holiday and a lot of people even here at our operation have taken the day off. Uh, I'm sure they're already down in downtown Detroit uh, getting ready for Tiger opening day. Tigers got off to kind of an interesting start this year, didn't they? With, with having a rough time in Tampa and then a much better um, series after that. So uh, good luck to the Detroit Tigers on their opening day. So I thought on opening day it'd be kind of fun just take a quick break and uh, go back and listen to that amazing Tiger baseball song, Talking Baseball. Really good video up on YouTube with the song and then some video to go along with it. Uh, if you're an old school Tiger fan, you're going to love this. Jared, let's roll this on opening day. It was great to be a Tiger fan with a Georgia Peach and Wahoo Sam. They won the pennant three years in a row. Then Heilman led the squad, adding titles in years that were odd. Brick Stadium always had a hitting show. I'm talking baseball. Hank and Charlie slugging Tiger baseball. Schoolboy did the chucking. Goose Goslin made opposing pitcher scream. Then Georgie Kelly on the scene, I'm talking baseball, the Motor City team. Well, Hal and Dizzy set him down, then K-Line won the batting crown the year before he had the right to vote. Charlie Maxwell's Sunday fun, Denny's year of 31, 
The sailing was great in 68 on the series boat. Talking baseball, Rocky, Norm, and Willie. Tiger baseball, McCall with Gates and Billy. Bruton, Heff, and Freehand, Harvey Keen. Lolich in the series winning three. I'm talking baseball, the Motor City's team. Mike. Caesar seven hits in one. What would Mark the Bird have done? One Tiger had two slams in one game. Northrop was his name. The Tigers have tradition, and Sparky's one ambition is to get them to the classic in the fall. New names join the old. Another team unfolds. They're a good bet with Morris and Chet, so let's play ball. I'm talking baseball. Trammel, Dave, and Lance Tiger. Baseball. Kirk Gibson and the champ. Whitaker and Hebner on the scene. Wilcox and Aurelio have the steam. I'm talking baseball. Motor City. I tell you what, that video brings back so many great memories of going to Tiger games and uh, yours truly when I was a junior at West Bloomfield High School. Had the privilege of being a beat reporter, string reporter one summer as an internship for a local radio station. They sent me down to the Tigers games to get sports stories. And there is young 16-year-old Dave Scott in the locker room trying to interview Mark the Bird Fidrich. So, uh, so many great stories. Um, good luck, Tigers, on this opening day, a celebratory day here in the state of Michigan and certainly here in West Bloomfield, bringing it a little closer to home. You can celebrate the Detroit Tigers at the Drake Sports Park on April 14th from 1130 to 1230. Come dressed as the Ultimate Tiger Fan. Prizes will be awarded for the very best Tigers gear. This event is sponsored by Brookdale Southfield and a variety of others, and it is all put on by your West Bloomfield Parks and Recreation Department. A couple bucks to get in there. Should be a lot of fun and a great way if you can break free in April 14th to celebrate the Tigers. Maybe a fun thing to do if you can't make it down to the game today. So Geno's, Geno's and Kigo, an institution, an absolute institution in our communities. And uh, a big congratulations to Geno's this morning, named the number two two, excuse me, the number two best Italian restaurant in Oakland County. So a uh, good job for everyone at, at Gino's well-deserved um, recognition. So here's something I was looking at, and this was on the So Kigo uh, Facebook page this morning. Really caught me by surprise. Put up by Krista Slavin, and uh, she says, don't pull the dandelions in the spring. So leave them there. You know, I've always, you know, grabbed a dandelion here are there a lot of a lot of us they're very pretty but many of us think of dandelions as what they are as weeds don't pull them she says um, they are essential for the bees and the other pollinators so just a little note from uh, your friends right here in Kegel Harbor so uh, back to the Parks and Recreation Department. Each um, month, they share new ideas on how we can make our communities a little bit greener with their Green Dream program. And in April, they are celebrating Arbor Day. Arbor Day is when we all plant trees. Coming up later on in the month, 
um, April 28th, of course. Arbor Day is a holiday that recognizes the importance of trees in our ecosystem and encourages the planting of trees. What improves your health? Water saves you money and energy bills, helps wildlife and helps keep our community beautiful. Trees, trees, trees. There's going to be a native plant sale May 14th through the 18th um, for great trees all put on by your West Bloomfield Parks and Recreation Department. So in Kegel Harbor, we've got the big uh, egg event going on. And that is, of course, with Easter this weekend. You can see the big egg hunt on your screen, 6,000 eggs. You can bring a grown-up, bring a basket if you have one, or borrow one of the baskets that will be there from the Parks and Rec Department in Kegel. Toddlers, uh, two 12-year-olds will have their spots. Absolutely free event to Kegel. Should be a lot of fun. Put on by the Kegel Harbor Parks and Recreation Commission. Starts at 11 o'clock if you want to get your eggs. I wouldn't get there late. I would get there a little early, in fact. And uh, that way you can get together with some of your neighbors in Kegel Harbor. It's going to be cool, but a nice sunny day. And uh, we just get together, have a fun little chat, and then let the kids go crazy. Um, over in Southfield, I thought this is an interesting event I would share with you. Over in Southfield at Catalpa Oaks Park, which is a Oakland County park, they have the Great Marshmallow Drop, which is happening on, uh, on April 7th. That's this Friday. And it has been gone for three years. You can bring your family out to experience the enchantment of 15,000 marshmallows dropping from a helicopter. Children are encouraged to collect the marshmallows and turn them in for a cool prize. So when I saw this this morning, uh, <laughs> it just got, my, got me thinking a little bit. And I couldn't help but think about the WKRP in Cincinnati turkey drop, and uh, maybe this marshmallow drop made you think about that. Um, the marshmallow drop is a totally safe activity, but uh, y if, if you know anything about uh, nostalgic television, this clip might be fun for us to just take a look at a little bit of this. Let's roll uh, the turkey drop video from WKRP. All right, fellow babies, and now it's time to go to our live remote man on the scene at the Pinedale Shopping Mall for the big WKRP turkey giveaway. So take it away, Les Nessman. This is Les Nessman, your man on the scene here at the Pinedale Shopping Center where the excitement is mounting. We're here to witness the big WKRP hey, you. turkey Thanksgiving giveaway. Hey, you got permission to be out here? <laughs> what? You're blocking my store here, buddy. Don't you know who like I that am? Huh? I'm, I'm Les Nesman. I won the Buckeye Newshawk Award last year. <laughs> Good for you, Buckeye. Now get out of my doorway. I'm sorry. Creep. <laughs> so far, so good. Huh? I'm here with hundreds of people who have gathered to witness what has been described as perhaps the greatest turkey event in Thanksgiving Day history. All we know for sure is that in a very few moments, there are going to be a lot of happy people out here. Now, the crowd is... The crowd is uh, curious, but well-behaved. And I think I hear something now. Uh, the crowd is moving out into the parking area. And, oh yes, I can see it now. It's a, it, it's a helicopter. And it's coming this way. A helicopter? It's flying something behind it. I can't quite make it out. It's a large banner. And it says, uh, happy thing. W-K-R-P. What a sight, ladies and gentlemen, what a sight. The copter seems to be circling the parking area now. I guess it's looking for a place to land. No, something just came out of the back of the helicopter. It's uh, a dark object. Uh, perhaps a skydiver plumbing to, to the earth from only 2,000 feet into the air. <laughs> No parachutes yet. Those can't be skydivers. I can't tell just yet what they are, but... Oh, my God, they're talking! Oh, Johnny, can you get this? Oh, they're crashing to the earth right in front of my eyes! Oh, Jerry, thank you. 
we can we can cut it and we can cut it there. The WKRP Turkey Drop, a classic in uh, sitcom history, especially for those of us who worked in radio. And I promise you that the great marshmallow drop that is going to be going on at Catalpa Oaks County Park uh, will be a very safe event. But I couldn't help but make the connection between the two. Just another uh, quick update for you this morning, and we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with a few more items here before we say so long. Phone lines are out at the West Bloomfield Township offices this morning, and uh, they, are, they know what the problem is. They're working and trying to get it all fixed up, but they are out. Now, if you have an emergency call, dial 911. If you need to get a hold of the police department, the number is 248 248- 318-9321, 248-318-9321. You could try calling the various departments in the township. Many of them have been, the lines have been forwarded to cell phones when they were able to do that. If you don't get connected to somebody, just give it a little bit of time. And uh, the, the crew is working very hard to get all of this resolved. And I'm sure they will have it working as soon as possible. Good morning, I'm Dave Scott. You're watching and listening to The Splash Live. We're going to take a break and we'll be back with more in just a moment. We'll be right back with The Splash Live. What's happening around you? Hear about state events, businesses, and from the people behind them on The Megacast, an hour-long TV, radio, and streaming show keeping you informed on the day-to-day -day news. Listen in on talks with volunteer groups, documentarians, and financial advisors Monday to Friday with your host, Tyler Keeft. Catch The Megacast weekdays from 10 a.m. to 11 on Civic Center TV, 89.3 Lakes FM, and streaming on MyMyTV.com. Watch Civic Center TV with our brand new live captions. To turn on live captions, go to civiccentertv.com and click Watch Live. In your web browser, click on the Options tab in the top right and find the Accessibilities tab. Then just switch on live captions to heighten your enjoyment of our local programming. Thank you so much for watching Civic Center TV. And now, back to The Splash, live. Good morning, welcome back to The Splash Live. Dave Scott right here in our Civic Center studios. Thank you very much for watching today. Tyler Keefe will be in in just a couple of minutes with the Megacast. He'll be taking a look at a whole other set of stories, um, not specifically West Bloomfield, but taking a look at a wider geographic uh, area Oakland County, state of Michigan, and things right here at home. So, um, you know, one of the biggest stories really going on right here in the West Bloomfield area is is the the, the coming of Schuler Books to our community. And it, this is especially remarkable. First of all, as you're going to see in a minute, this is a very large bookstore. This is a bookstore coming to our community at a time when most of the bookstores, yeah, we got a, shop, a picture of the shopping mall where it's at at 14 and Orchard Lake Road. But uh, this is a major bookstore coming to our community when almost all of the retailing of books is happening online through sites like Amazon. And, and this is the, this is a Michigan bookseller with only three other locations, Grand Rapids, Lansing, and Ann Arbor. And their fourth location, as they added one, is right here in West Bloomfield. We've got a video. You can roll the video from Schuler's first. This is, uh, you're walking into the store now. And again, this is in the mall um, right at 14 in Orchard Lake Road. You can get a pretty good idea of how big this store is. It's absolutely huge. And, and this is all going to be packed full of books, um, hopefully in a week or so. And, uh, and then we can go over there and do some local book shopping. Now, I was out there. We have another video. This is video that I shot outside, taking a look through the glass. Couldn't get in the night I was there. You can see the ladder is there. They're still working on things. But take a look. They got the counter set up. 
And, uh, and as we get over to this window here, you'll be able to see the massive and really beautiful bookshelves that they have installed there in the store. So you can see this is not just your neighborhood um, small downtown bookstore. It's absolutely huge. It's coming to West Bloomfield. Not only are you going to be able to go there to buy books, but there'll be um, a lot of authors that will want to come. There'll be programs and presentations when new books come out. It's going to be a great resource. Uh, we are so thrilled Schuler Books is coming to West Bloomfield, and we are very excited about that. As excited as we are about a big, beautiful new bookstore coming, we are equally excited that the golf season is back here. And if you're a golfer, you've been chomping at the bit to get out on the golf course, maybe with rain the last couple of days, not been able to do that. But today, through the weekend, as things dry out a little bit, you're, it's perfect. Look cool, but a perfect time to get out on the golf course and uh, certainly there's a tremendous number of golf options in our area but don't forget that oakland county parks and recreation has five incredible golf courses right here in oakland county uh, one of them i mean just a mile from west bloomfield and that's the glen oaks golf course which is just, I'm thinking here, is just east of, of uh, Orchard Lake Road. I'm sorry, yes, yeah, just east of Orchard Lake Road on 13 Mile. It's a great facility, a beautiful course. And you take the Glen Oaks Golf Course and add the Lions Oaks Golf Course, the Red Oaks Golf Course, the Springfield Oaks and the White Oaks Golf Courses. You've got five great Oakland County golf courses to get out. These are public courses, very accessible and as affordable as any golf experience is going to be. So golfers, get out and enjoy that. We've got a really quick video here before we run along from Oakland County getting you ready for golf season. All right, there you go. Final uh, message um, before we say so long today, just a couple of more notes on this uh, phone outage at West Bloomfield. Got a note from our clerk, Debbie Binder, just trying to read it on my phone right now. She says that all the offices are open today. If you need to get a hold of a clerk's office, you can call 248 451 4848. Again, 248 451 Four eight four eight calls were forward uh, to the departments. In many cases, um, there's a lot going on over the township right now, election and other stuff going on. So um, the offices are open. They're just a little bit inconvenienced, and you will in a in a minor way today if you are trying to get a hold of somebody. But uh, there's that number in the clerk's office. If you have an emergency, do of course what you always do: dial nine one one, and those numbers are working perfectly. But don't clog up the nine one one for uh, office and non-emergency calls today. All right. That's going to be it for the splash. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thanks to all of you for supporting this program. Have a fantastic day. Enjoy the uh, cooler but uh, nice weather here in West Bloomfield. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning right here on the splash live. Have a great day.